In this video, we will showcase the most significant update of the year and you'll be ecstatic about the upcoming changes to your vehicle. In addition, the Model 3 has been updated with some intriguing features you should know. Moreover, the V4 superchargers are now online and there are built-in secrets that you'll want to know about. And if you are interested in the Cybertruck, some significant updates may alter your opinion of Tesla's new vehicle. So, if you don't want to miss any of these in Incredible updates, keep watching the video. Understanding the impact of battery health on electric vehicle range When it comes to battery range, one of the most direct factors that affect it as you use your electric vehicle over time is the battery's health. You might be concerned that after switching to an electric car, you'll have to spend a lot of money on a new battery within just a few years, which could make you hesitant to make the switch. Debunking Battery Replacement Worries This week, Recurrent conducted a study specifically on Tesla vehicles and the results might just surprise you. In reality, the impact of frequent supercharging on Tesla batteries isn't as significant as you might think. They conducted the study on over 12,500 Tesla vehicles focusing on Model 3 and Model Y. According to the chart, the blue line represents vehicles that frequently use superchargers. In contrast, the green line represents those that only occasionally use superchargers. Now, the definition of frequently using superchargers here is when your vehicle spends more more than 90% of its time doing so. Impact of Supercharging Model 3 versus Model Y If you're one of the Tesla owners who regularly use superchargers like myself, you'll find this information interesting. Looking at the chart, the left side shows the percentage of your effective range in miles. At the same time, on the right, Model 3's battery age is calculated at 2,000 days, which is around 5.5 years. For Model Y, it's based on 1,000 days, or a little over 2.5 years. The study's results might surprise you. When it comes to Model 3, whether you frequently use supercharges or not, you won't notice much difference. Optimizing Supercharging – Surprising Model Y Results Model Y, however, is quite impressive. After 1,000 days, the effective range remaining for those who frequently use superchargers is even higher than for those who only occasionally use them. This likely relates to Tesla's recent efforts in optimizing supercharging battery performance. Interestingly, Model Y has just passed 1,000 days and mileage is now over 42,000 miles or roughly 67,000 kilometers. The Benefits of Off-Peak Supercharging If you're budget conscious, using superchargers during off-peak hours might be cheaper than home charging. Of course, whether the time saved is worth it depends on you. However, this report also serves as a reminder that rapid charging in extremely cold or hot conditions before your battery is ready can indeed stress the battery. So, for all of you Tesla owners, remember to use the Navigate to Supercharger feature because your vehicle will automatically preheat or cool your battery pack to the optimal working temperature, which is crucial for battery protection. Elon Musk's vision. This report might change your perception of supercharging and battery lifespan. At least for you, it has eased some concerns. In addition, following Elon Musk's recent sharing of the full self-driving V12 version's autonomous driving display in his Model X a few days ago, he expressed his excitement yesterday about how fantastic Tesla's autopilot is if you haven't experienced it. Furthermore, he has acknowledged more than once that Tesla should consider removing the FS the nag, which prompts you to regularly apply pressure to the steering wheel. NHTSA's inquiry into Tesla's autopilot, concerns and requests. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, has requested Tesla to answer questions about autopilot and provide documents despite not requiring recalls. The letter suggests concerns about overly relaxed drivers and potential accidents due to less attentiveness. NHTSA is requesting information on which consumers receive updates, why, and the number of accidents 
accidents or near accidents due to software updates as well as the 2024 software update plan. Exploring Tesla's Elon Mode and the Future of Self-Driving Tesla has introduced a new self-driving mode called Elon Mode, discovered by Hacker Green, which eliminates snag prompts and requires no touch to the steering wheel. This model has gained attention from law enforcement agencies but has not been rolled out to regular Tesla owners. After a software update, nag prompts appear less frequently, and the car now alerts drivers if their gaze leaves the road for a few seconds. The hope is that Tesla can eventually implement a system similar to Ford's Blue Cruise, where drivers don't need to keep their hands on the steering wheel as long as their eyes are on the road. Tesla's status tech company or automaker, insights from Kathy Wood. Tesla's success in self-driving will determine its status as a tech company or car manufacturer. Kathy Wood suggests Tesla should be classified as a tech stock due to its potential over 80% profit margins. Tesla's stock has soared and ARK's ARK fund has surpassed its peak performance. Despite excellent analysts, ARK funds have lagged behind in their investment strategies compared to index investments. Beating the market is not as easy as it seems. And that completes our video for today. We hope you enjoyed learning the incredible updates of Tesla models. Which of them are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content such as this.